Hi there. This is EJM of live.ejm.com. I thought I'd give you <coughs> a progress report on my stream. I'm currently working with my new 17-inch uh, laptop that I just recently purchased on eBay. I know what everybody says about eBay and all that, but there's some simple things that you can do to protect yourself, and I like to cover that. Granted, uh, buying a laptop on eBay is a little scary, to be honest with you. I was scared. and But if you do your homework, you should be okay. First thing I did is I decided, you know, I started looking, watching eBay and uh, looking at Craigslist to see what kind of laptop I was looking for. I originally started out with one just like the one I have now. What I'm planning to do with the 17 inch is replace my desktop. A lot of people are doing that now. So here's some ideas if you're going to look for one on eBay. Look for what model, determine what model you're looking for. See if it's available on eBay or on Craigslist or some other source. My issue was, is I wanted a laptop that had XP Pro. I have a lot of old programs or older programs that cannot work on Vista, even with the update. So I, you know, and I, to be honest with you, I like XT Pro. It meets my needs. And it's not so labor intensive on that. I'm waiting to see what Windows 7 comes up. So, once you determine what kind of uh, laptop and what model you're looking for, go to eBay, type it in, and what I would do before thinking about uh, bidding on anything is hit the tab that says Complete. There's a little tab on the left-hand side that says Completed uh, Listings. Check what uh, the model that you're trying to buy is selling for so you know what kind of money you're looking for. When I was look, looking at my 15-inch uh, uh, Acer laptop, I was looking at a little higher than what I wanted to spend. I wanted to spend a little around 200 to 250 tops. But I found out that most of them are going for $300, a little bit higher than what I wanted to spend on a five-year-old laptop. So... I started looking, uh, I, I wasn't thinking about a 17-inch, but s since I was talking about replacing my desktop, it gave me something to look at. I found out that most of the 17-inches were going for about $500, based on what I was seeing. So, I had a price point, you know, w what I had to do. And so, if I get anything under $500 for a 17-inch, eh, I thought I was doing pretty good. Well, the one I ended up getting on eBay was a, a dual core with uh, a 2 gigahertz, 1 meg of RAM with 160 meg hard drive, and he gave me the option of putting Windows XP Professional or Vista on it. I went with XP Pro, of course, and I, you know, you have to check out your seller. You got to make sure that you know what he's going to do. First thing I did was. Uh, check the seller out. I found out that he had he sold 218 and he's a power seller which is a good thing. He has a hundred percent positive feedback. He's been a member since January 15th of 05 which is you know a good amount. So I felt a little bit more comfortable. He's in the United States so I don't have to worry about going across, uh, across the country. One of the laptops I was looking at was in Canada. And with Canada, it costs a little bit more for shipping because you got to go through their uh, post office and then ours. And this gentleman was throwing in free shipping in the United States. I also checked to see what uh, a three-day would go, and he said it'd be about an extra 30. At the time, it wasn't a big issue, but I recently had my car break down, so it became an issue. I was fortunate. Uh, I put a maximum bid on this one of $500, but I was able to get it for $455. So that I thought pretty, I felt pretty good about that. And this particular seller uh, answered my questions positively and on a regular, and a fair, within 24 hours. So I was feeling more and more comfortable. So I paid when it was my time to pay for it. I paid through uh, PayPal, another safe way when you're buying major purchases because PayPal covers the full purchase price, at least on what I was buying. And 
we kept in touch, which is always important when you're doing any buying over the over the over it. He threw in a couple extra things that he didn't have to, um, and I uh, it got here last Friday, uh, and uh, I did a uh, a uh, opening of it on my YouTube or excuse me UStream uh, site. And uh, I will eventually move it over to YouTube. And he packed it real well. Very impressed with the gentleman. And if you're interested in looking and see if he has anything for you, I'd be happy to recommend him. His uh, seller ID is Experience Computers. And uh, the gentleman is located, according to this, High Point, North Carolina, United States. And uh, I was... You know, fortunate. I did my, uh, the important thing when you're buying any equipment, especially expensive stuff, is to do your, do your research and make sure you get what you're supposed to get. Uh, I, I just verified with the, uh, the listing what, what he gave me, and sure enough, he gave me what he said he was going to give me. So, hopefully you will, uh, if you follow what, just some of the suggestions I have and uh, you should have the same thing if you have any questions or comments you can leave it on my YouTube page which this is going to be posted on and you can get a hold of me at info at ejm727.com and you can always check out my new website live.ejm727.com anyway this is EJM hoping that you have a good day, and I'll talk to you later.